surround yourself with great actors, uh, uh, fun actors, uh, and so that kind of leads me into talking a little bit about Will Reading. Will Reading, um, uh, again, we're going to be premiering Will Reading here on the 21st of June at the Saccone Theater, uh, and, and, and Jamie has written it. You've directed it. You're starring in it uh, with uh, several other alumni uh, involved with the show. But uh, what, how long did this process take? We were talking about, you know, it's not overnight sometimes. How long did it take you to, to put this together? A very long time. I think I started writing in 13, uh, and I'm probably going to do one more sound edit before we premiere. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's four years so right four there. four years, yeah. yeah. Um, I... Uh, shot it by myself i didn't have a crew so that made it kind of difficult and everybody in the film uh you know has lives and jobs and even children now uh, -huh. uh so you know there's not always a lot of time so we even though we had uh infinite time you know we could take as long as we wanted to make the movie we only had these finite gaps of you know three or four hours to work in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um so between time and limitations of you know, just not being able to do certain things or shots that I had imagined because it was just too technically difficult. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, that, and sometimes you need a whole crew to be able to do some of these things if it's not just stopping traffic to have some TA, uh, or, PAs out on the... Or even just moving the camera in the living room. I, I uh, There were just times where I was like, I have this idea for this shot. And I was just like, there's just no time. I have, you know all four of the, the actors here and we've just we've got to go we've got to get through these pages tonight like I can't stop and do this 15 minute setup and this mm -hmm. shot I'm gonna have to do and I would just say nope that's not happening so some of the rewrites away. happen along the way still you do or, or maybe not rewriting the dialogue because it fits into the location that you have kind of it was more yeah. more of a look thing mm -hmm. you know I, I had these ideas for how things should look and how I wanted to move the camera and a lot of those things just didn't pan out uh, and I would just put the camera on the tripod and be like, okay, let's go. Or I just put the camera on my shoulder and be like, let's go. So this is huge. What made you want to even take on such a huge project? Or did it just grow along the way and went, oh my God, now I'm in it? I knew that it was going to be difficult. I, I knew it was going to take a long time. I knew I wasn't going to have a crew. I knew all that when I was writing it. So mm -hmm. I tried not to write things that I couldn't accomplish mm -hmm. by myself because um, I knew there wasn't going to be anybody else. Uh -huh. um, and I just tried to make it happen when I could. And, and you know, you can't, I mean, we, we've probably heard a lot about low-budget films and all this, which this kind of fits into that uh, low-budget category, but I, until you told me this morning that, that there was no crew, I thought you had a full crew there. I mean, it really looks so professional done with, 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 with uh, uh, all your lighting people and your, your people on the other side of the camera there, so it's not even apparent that, that you're not filled with a huge crew there, which uh, kudos to you for, for, for giving that because oh. it's, 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 it's such a fun film. Um, so uh, just, just a little bit back before we talk about the, the, the plot of the film. Um, so you got the idea to do this film, how? How did you, where did this idea come? Well, I, I'd written a screenplay when I was here actually, and I was like, oh, I'll revisit that because that seems like an, a film I could make by myself. Uh, it just took place in one location in one house and I just kind of flipped through it quickly and I was like, there's, it just wasn't very exciting. There wasn't anything interesting. There wasn't like the catalyst was not particularly exciting. Mm -hmm. And I thought, no, I'll just write something new. I, I, I know what I'm doing uh, or what I can do rather. And I was like, I know we're just gonna have this one location thing. You know, Clue is a great classic from the sure, 80s sure, and, yeah, and yeah. it's a comedy I knew it. And I was like, that's all in one static location. Mm -hmm. So. It, Clearly it can be done. There are lots of movies that just take place in one location and it seemed like a perfectly reasonable thing to try. And, uh, and where did you get the equipment from? Where did you have, have cameras and all that kind of stuff? Uh, I just went out and bought stuff. Oh my goodness, um, wow. I, you, know, you can accomplish things relatively affordably compared to even 15 years ago. Uh -huh. uh, you know, like you couldn't get at HD high quality image for $2,000 in 2001. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you could, maybe you could. Um, LED lighting mm -hmm. certainly has mm -hmm. brought down oh, the true, cost true and the changed. temperature mm -hmm. of lighting. So Very it's not true. nearly as Very hot true. as yeah. it used yeah. to be. So that's another big bonus uh -huh. that 
has just changed things. Well, awesome. Um, awesome. You know, and, and editing software, of course, has also come down. So money was spent wisely. Uh, we're going to have to take a short break, but we're going to come back and talk about uh, the film itself, talk about the, uh, the plot, and uh, we have a little clip to, to show you as well. So we'll take a break and come right back and join us talking about Will Reading with Jamie and Salako. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason, because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Welcome back to Bergen Stages Television. I'm Jim Bumgarner, your host, and today we've been talking to Jamie and Salako, who's our writer, director, producer, cameraman, uh, all everything about this film called Will Reading, which will be doing a world premiere here at Bergen Community College on June 21st at the Saccone Theater. Um, we, when we uh, left, uh, we were talking about the film itself, and I know that we've got um, a few alums in the in the film. We've got uh, Greg Vorob, Dan. Conrad, Mark Seidenstein um, right. are three Bergen alums that are in the show, and you worked with them here uh, at Bergen. Is this where you all met? And yes, uh, I, I think uh, perhaps they had known each other beforehand. I'm not sure about that, uh -huh. but uh, I, I came to know all three of them here um, working on uh, various different shows. And all comedic. I mean, these guys are so funny just watching these guys work oh, together. Yeah. I think they did a lot of comedy improv uh, with the theater club while, while they were here, so watching them work would be fun. And that's what's fun about this, as you can tell, their their comic skills are, are you you just really uh, punctuated that in the film. Uh, so as we talk about the film, the idea for Will Reading, you said you had written something here before and kind of went that direction with it. Um, so tell us a little bit about the plot. Uh, well, uh, the the plot centers around uh, Will, who has just recently died, and uh, his wife uh, and his twin brother and two of their friends, uh, they have discovered that he left them a note, a, a uh, addendum uh, to his will, and they're all going to get together and read it and find out uh, exactly what else he has to tell them, which uh, hopefully benefits them all financially. To they suit all hope their, so. They all hope so because they all need it. Uh huh. And so we actually have a, a short clip. Can you set up the clip that we're about to see? What has happened right uh, to get us into this? Sure. Uh, the uh, Wendy character is uh, hosting uh, this dinner party where they're all going to get together and just to have some polite social etiquette, they're going to have dinner before they actually read the will. Uh, and this kind of sets up exactly the relationships between these these characters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so why don't we watch a little bit of the clip and we'll come back and talk to uh, about it when we get back. So this is just a little, little teaser here uh, for Will Reading. I'm just saying we all have problems and I don't think anybody here is particularly happy with their situation. And I'm not gonna sit here, okay, and pretend that their marriage was anything more than a charade. <laughs> you need to stop now. Oh, get a grip. And by the way, you need to learn how to work the privacy settings on your social media a little better. I went out on one date with that moron when I'm Will and I were separated and he photoshopped my face onto that picture. So you're saying the Princess Leia Return of the Jedi costume is not tucked away in your attic? Because that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. I'm happy with my situation. Excuse me for a second. What's that? Uh, a second ago, you were saying nobody at the table was happy with their situation in life. I'm good. You have no idea what you're talking about. Will made it this way with his high stakes, short selling whatever. Is that why he killed himself? Dude! He did not kill himself! Oh, it was you then! Okay. This is a good opportunity for everyone to take a deep breath. Good. Have a sip of wine. Take another deep breath. This is not over. And we can focus our energy in a more positive direction. 
<laughs> what a great clip. I don't know how you guys kept a straight face during shooting this. You must have had uh, hours of just laughing at each other watching uh, these guys work. Um, there were moments, particularly uh, when it would come to the actual performance and the physicality of it. You know, somebody would just make a face or just we'd come up with a bit of business that just suddenly took something that was kind of funny on the page to something that just was had us ruining uh -huh. takes left <laughs> and right. And, and that's where their improv skills come in. You hire the actors because you know that they've got this these nuances to them, these uh, uh, improbabilities that bring a character to, to life. Sure, uh. sure. That, that was a big part of why, particularly uh, with Dan Conrad, Greg Borob, and Mark, Seiden, Mark Seidenstein, I had these actors in mind when I was writing. Um, you know, just being people I know and people I knew that were interested in acting, I thought, I was like, they'll, they'll probably agree. And even if they don't, I was, I was like, well, that at least lets me know what I'm looking for. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and that worked out. How'd you find Katie? Now, Katie's the only, and she's wonderful. She's, she's a find because I think she's terrific in the film. How did you find her? Where did she? She's tremendous. Uh, I initially had in mind uh, another alumni for that role, and uh, she didn't end up being able to do it as we got closer to shooting. And then uh, another alumni came to my attention and then it turned out she couldn't do it. Wow. And uh, <laughs> she recommended Katie. She said, oh, she's much better than me. You should just go with her. Oh, interesting. And by then I was like, yeah, sure, whoever, you know, uh, there's a thing in uh, <laughs> professional baseball where they're like, we just need somebody, we just need a warm body, just get somebody out there. And, <laughs> And that's just kind of how I felt. You know, I was starting to get panic. I was like, I was like, we got to get started, or else we're never going to start. And mm -hmm. she ended up just being tremendous. Oh, she just, is. Just, I mean, she she really pulls this all together. She, oh she's yeah. Just and but tough being the only female. You know, it's like yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, and there's so much on her shoulders because she's in like virtually not every scene, but close. There's so much. It's so much on her shoulders, and she just did it and. And it makes it look easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and true ensemble. I think if you try to figure out what that word ensemble means, I think you found it with these set of four people working together. I think uh, you're, so. You're included in the four, uh, five of you. Well, um, I, but... I'm not in it that much. <laughs> I, I just thought, well, you know, if, if this is the only movie I'm ever going to make, I hope there's a small part in it for me. And you can write I just, it. <laughs> yeah, and I just thought it's like, like yeah, hey, look at that guy. That's uh -huh. great. Um, you know, I just you know wanted that for myself, uh -huh. selfishly. But... Uh, the yeah the four of them really come together as a unit and push together w one consistent tone that i think could be it could be difficult to do uh that that really ended up working in a way that exceeded my expectations yeah. and they're not selfish they're very giving to each other which is you know so wonderful they're not they 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 feed the other one to get let the other one get the laugh and and that's incredibly um uh yeah. to find actors that and I think I think uh, that's something that is helpful when you've had actors that have worked together before, maybe especially in the case of comedy too. Uh, I think uh, if you look into Shawshank Redemption, they had several weeks to get together to look like they were people who'd known each other for years mm -hmm, and years mm -hmm, and years. Mm -hmm. And I already had people that had known to, been together for, for years, years, and, years and it was written that way. But it's true, they do know each other. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that that brings a touch of realness to yeah, it that yeah, was yeah. sorely needed. Yeah, no, well, it so works. Um, so on June 21st here at Burton Community College, we're going to show a world premiere of this. It's going to be absolutely for free. Uh, it's going to be at 7.30 p.m. in our Saccone Theater. So tell us a little bit about that night. So we're going to show the film, and I think we're fortunate enough to get you and several of the actors to... Yes, I think we're going to have everybody. Oh uh, we're, we're, we're super close. Uh, Katie is in another show, and she's just waiting to get her schedule. Mm -hmm. um, and there was another point during the filming where we had to share Katie with another show, too, oh, really? because she's just, she yeah. just yeah. likes, she's, she's uh -huh. always working. Uh, so that so we'll, we we'll have it almost everybody. So for hopefully, sure. we're going to try to get all the actors uh, and yourself to 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 talk. So if if you're a student or know a student that's interested in film or you're just curious about how you make your own film. I mean, so many people are walking around with their iPhones doing films. This is a little bit uh, better than that, a little bit more upscale than that. Um, so you'll have a chance to have a, a conversation with the director and, and the actors in the, in the show as well. So after the filming, uh, after we show the film, um, we'll have probably like a half hour, 45 minutes to be able to talk to you guys about the, uh, about the movie. Yeah. Uh, which is fun. So thank you for oh, doing yeah. that. I think this is so, so great for our alumni association to say, hey, look at what we're doing here, and to have you and these guests to talk about it. And there's so many things that we'd love to teach about it, but 
But nothing's better than having somebody who's just done it, who's just put up a film, and to be able to talk about the process uh, uh, is, is just the wisdom that you have. Because they don't know what they don't know, but you know what they don't know. It's like, so let me warn you, if you're going to get this, if you're going to start this, this trek into film, uh, this is what you're going to have to do. And then what, uh, what happens after this pr world premiere? Is it off to go to, to uh, competitions? Uh, we we are uh, trying to get the movie into some film festivals. Um, but now, uh, which was certainly not the case in, in the past, uh, even when I was here, uh, there are other options. There are other things you can do with your film to get it in front of just eyeballs. Uh, you, you can push it on the Netflix. You can push it on the Amazon. You can even just put it on the YouTube. Right, right, uh, right. There are ways right. to get your movie out there. But it's great to have the accolades that it was at a festival. I oh, assume. sure. And yeah. is that a difficult process to get a, a film in, in into a festival? It's kind of like it, applying to college. You know, you fill out a bunch of forms. You know, you you send them a little bit of money. It's, and they view the whole film and make a decision after. Ideally, seen it? Uh, I I I wonder, but mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but but they say they do, and that's how they, they say base they their do. Decision. You know, and then you're invited to come to the competition or the yeah, festival. Yeah, ho hopefully, or whatever it is. yeah. Oh, cool. That and is this just nationally, or are you thinking? Canada, are you thinking internationally? Yeah, uh, we've applied to some film film festivals outside of the United States, but mostly in, in the United Within States. Within the U.S., yeah, so that you can travel to them. Yeah, it? yeah, certainly a lot yeah. easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think it looks cool if you've, if you've been to the festival or been a part of it. I always remember seeing it on, on the yeah. cover that, oh, yeah, just uh, at the, 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 the Comms Film Festival sure. uh, kind of thing like that. And then you're right. Then you can put it on YouTube. and uh, There's no competition on YouTube. They don't or, uh there's no uh, special accolades. Uh, YouTube doesn't have a festival, I, I guess that's what I'm saying, or Amazon. No, I, I, I don't know if they do, uh, but I, I think it's, there's a way to distribute your movie mm -hmm. without any sort of process okay, or so. help. If, if you, you know, get to a point where you're just like, I just want to get in front of people, you can do it now. It's mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. Which is, yeah, like you said, years ago, that would never happen. You're, no. you're running from place to place to try to get people you know, to... And to... it would just sit on a shelf in your room forever. Uh, but that's not uh, true anymore. Uh, uh -huh. Good. Well, so there's outlets. So, so again, and, and we're so lucky to have you here, um, uh, to, to, to be showing it here at Bergen Community College. So, so the idea is that we're going to show it here, uh, meet the cast, have a conversation with them, and then we're able to send you guys off into the world to come back with... Uh, and, and now are you working on the next one? Is that happening in the process of all this? I, I do have uh, an idea, and I am writing a little bit off and on here and there. Um, whether or not I'll ever get to do that, I, I don't know. Um, it's a little bit bigger, and ideally I would like to make a movie with a small crew. Mm -hmm. um, just A little bit of help, just carrying yeah, the camera. And, and the, yeah, you yeah. know, so I can do some things that I wasn't able to do in this movie. Locations and, moving is easier and all that kind of stuff. But and, I think your curve, the learning curve, has gone up so high what you've learned doing this. To, oh, sure. To apply it to the next one's going to be. Yeah, yeah I, I, th I think that's, you know, it's, it's like going to school. You mm -hmm. know, it's important to have a basis. And, you know, if you want to make a complicated film, it's good to have made a simpler film uh, to if you want to start. make a more technically complicated uh -huh. film where the camera's moving and mm -hmm. things like that. It's it's nice to have done this. It's it was it was quite the education. And it, it's not a short. It's no. a it's a it's a full length film yeah. that uh, uh, called Will Reading. Um, gosh, Jamie, this has gone by too fast, but it's so great to have you on the show. And we hope that you will think about coming to see our our production uh, being uh, film shown at the Saccone Theater on the 21st of June. It's coming up very shortly, uh, 7.30 p.m. in the Saccone Theater. Uh, it's free. If you want to get tickets, go to tickets.bergen.edu. They're free uh, tickets, but then we know how many people are coming so that we can prep for you. And then we'll have a talk back with uh, Jamie and some of the cast members uh, right after the show. So hope to see you there. Come see us. And Jamie, thank you again for coming to the show. Thanks for having uh -huh. me. It was great. Absolutely. Absolutely.